We're going to go um, now to Colleen McCain Nelson in Cleveland, and she is with Rick Santorum um, following the campaign that comes to us on her iPhone. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, Colleen. I think this is your debut on Campaign Journal, or certainly your debut with me on Campaign Journal. Um, so, what is the mood in the Rick Santorum camp? They're a little more subdued than they've been in the past. You know, yesterday he was in Ohio and he wasn't making any bold predictions. I mean, he said, hopefully we'll have a win in Ohio. He didn't say we're going to win. And he kind of started to explain away why they might not win. He talked a lot yesterday about how much money Romney was spending in Ohio compared to him and saying, you know, well, he spent all this money and we're still competitive. And it started to sound like an excuse or an explanation for why they might not win instead of trying to really fire up people and say we're going to win. Mm. Well, he, he is on a shoestring budget. Um, I mean, he really does seem to have, as, as I was mentioning to, to Neil King earlier, he does seem to have, have a budget of someone who fished down the back of the sofa and, and collected some coins. I mean, and, and for that budget, he's done remarkably well. Why, why would he be making excuses for that? Well, I, I think he's just kind of trying to maybe lower expectations a little bit and say, you know, even if we come close, even if we're still competitive, we should view that as a win. And so I think he's just trying to kind of manage expectations. But you're absolutely right. He does have a shoestring budget. His campaign really hasn't grown as much as you might expect. You know, he started in Iowa with a truck and, you know, a single aid. And his campaign is a little bit bigger than that, but not much. And so uh, they really just don't have have the infrastructure. They don't have the boots on the ground. They don't have the organization. You see that manifested in the fact that they couldn't get the delegates uh, arranged in Ohio, which is going to hurt them. They didn't file all the delegates they needed here. They didn't get on the ballot in Virginia. And so, um, I mean, it's fine to run a small campaign, but there are, you know, consequences when you don't get delegates and you don't get on the ballot. And not only does that hurt you in the delegate count, but it also kind of undermines voter confidence as, as voters start to wonder, can you play on the national stage? Are you going to be able to compete with President Obama? So is he going to, if, if he doesn't do well today, is he going to call it quits and say, thanks, um, you know, that's it, it's over? I don't think so. I mean, he's certainly uh, given no indication that that's his plan. He says he's going to continue on, and um, he's absolutely planning to go ahead to the next states. And there's some states ahead that look good for him. He's headed to Kansas. He's headed to Mississippi. He's headed to Alabama. And those are all states where he'll do well. It's just a question of whether Romney is just building too big of a lead, and you can't keep coming in a close second and ever hope to catch up. Hmm. So uh, one of the things he'd been sort of fighting on was this sort of uh, grassroots versus the establishment. Um, do you think that has been in some ways a failed exercise or, or has that actually served him well? What do you think based on basically li li not living with them but basically being cheek by jowl with the Santorum campaign? Well, I think the grassroots message absolutely resonates with folks and his supporters really like kind of the little guy going up against the moneyed establishment and that really resonates with folks. It's just a question of whether they think that grassroots can actually overcome A, o Romney and, and B, Obama. And so it's a, it's a compelling message to people, uh, but, it's, but grassroots um, doesn't necessarily equal organization or um, infrastructure to, to build a winning campaign. Yeah, what they need. Yeah, what they need is checkbooks. I think. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Colleen McCain Nelson in Cleveland, coming to us from our iPhone. There. Thank you very much.